Okay, so this video is going to be very important to me and I think it is an important video to make just for anyone in general who wants to adopt a dog or a puppy. Uh, this is my puppy movie. She is now 11 weeks old. When I got her, she was 8 weeks old. When I got her, she was supposed to be a healthy puppy, supposedly. The people I bought her from, I trusted them and they told me that she was dewormed and that she was healthy. Now, when I took her home that first night, she actually, she had diarrhea. So, I was concerned about that because they say that, you know, yeah, it's kind of common for puppies to have that, but at the same time, it can be an indicator of something more serious. So the next day I took her to the vet on zero hours of sleep because I was that concerned because she was going once every hour and giant puddles of it too. So I was concerned. I went on no zero hours of sleep, like I said, to the vet. And what was unfortunate is that it was a weekend. So none of the vets were taking walk-ins. So I was going scrambling all over the place to different vets all over the city trying to find one that would take me as an emergency or a walk-in. I finally found one and I stood there all day for about four hours before she was able to get seen. So I purchased this puppy. I spent two and a half months going to animal shelters because I was originally going to adopt an older dog and I wanted it to be a rescue dog, a dog from a shelter. Um, that didn't work out every single time I went the dog I wanted was taken and or the dog was too big or just you know there was always there was always something that stopped me from getting it and I was at the pounds I kid you not every single weekend three pounds a day for two and a half months straight and I told myself okay I'm not gonna get a dog anymore because it's obviously not meant to be then one of my friends called me and told me that her aunt's dog had puppies and if I wanted one they would sell her to me for $100. Now at this point I had already felt like I wasn't meant to get a dog and I felt like defeated in a way. I couldn't find a dog so I thought okay I know these people so I can trust them they're not breeders. So I went to go pick up the puppy like I said I brought her home. She had diarrhea. She was going every single night. Every, she was going every single hour throughout the entire night. And that was cause for concern, so like I said, I took her to the vet, stood there four hours. When they saw her, she had two giant cuts, like about this big each, on her back. Uh, that was from being allergic to fleas. They were huge, like they looked like burns or something. She was also anemic. She had worms. She had diarrhea. Uh, she also had fleas and ticks, and giant ticks. They were stuck. I wish I had pictures of it, but I don't. I have one photo where I have the um, ticks on her ear. I'll insert it here. And she had huge, huge ones, like the engorged female ticks lodged in between her paws. And when I took went to take them out, her paws actually bled because they were so embedded into her body. So I adopted a sick puppy and I trusted these people. And the sad part is, the morning after I got her, before I even went to the vet, I contacted them and I said, hey, how long has the puppy had diarrhea? And they never replied. So then I thought, okay, I'll give them a few hours. So then throughout the day, I was I sent a question mark. And then after that, I got, I got to the point where I realized they were ignoring me on purpose. So then I wrote to them and I said, it's very unfair that you sold me a puppy that you said was healthy and she wasn't she was far from healthy when the doctor saw her when the vet saw her he said she was in terrible condition and that's an exact quote he said she was infested with fleas and ticks she had worms she had she was anemic and she had those cuts on her back so they gave me medication so of course i wasn't expecting to have all these medical bills now but these vet bills, but I thought, okay, you know, she's my puppy now, I have to take care of her. These people lied to me, but what am I supposed to do? So I took her home, I put her on the medication. She got an IV to um, not be dehydrated anymore. I thought everything would be good. Then a few days later, there started to be blood in her stool. 
So she would go to the restroom and there would be blood. So now I'm like really kind of panicked because I'm thinking the medicine she was taking did not work. So then I take her back to the vet. He gives her her first round of puppy shots and he deworms her. And he tells me that he wants to test a sample of her feces to see if she has a parasite that he thinks is what she her problem is. So, of course, he calls me the next day, he tested the sample, and she, of course, had that parasite. And it's a parasite you get from drinking dirty water. So, not only was she anemic and dehydrated and had fleas and ticks and worms and diarrhea, but she also now has a parasite and she's bleeding from her bottom. So, man. So here goes more medical bills, more sadness, more fear. On top of this, I have other pets, in case you guys didn't know, I have another dog who is 12 years old, so she's elderly. So I was so worried. Now I'm thinking like, oh my goodness, I hope I don't get my other pets sick. I also have two other cats. So I'm so worried, so I'm trying to keep them separate. So it's just creating this this huge level of stress on my back because I'm thinking, I'm worried that I'm gonna get my other pets sick so I have to keep them separate. Not only that, movies going to the restroom all the time, all over the house, so I'm just running around cleaning everything up all the time. And on top of that, she's a puppy, and if anybody's ever had a puppy knows that taking care of a puppy is a really, really, really huge responsibility. They're up all the time, they require a lot of attention, they have lots of energy, and you have to watch them. You can't, they can't be unsupervised. So I'm not getting any sleep at this point. This is, this is me summarizing my last two weeks. I'm not getting any sleep. I'm waking up every other hour because she's going to the restroom that much, so I'm cleaning that every other hour. Then I'm giving her her medication at all these different hours throughout the day. And of course, I also have to play with her and feed her and take care of her and put her to sleep and bathe her because she has, she had fleas and ticks. And then I also had to get her a prescription for um, a medication that's for fleas and ticks, but for puppies that are young. You also had to buy like tons and tons of those um, pee training pads and tons of like wipes to clean down everything and Clorox wipes and Lysol and all this stuff because I'm, I'm running around cleaning all this like poop and blood and it's just really really bad and again I have to keep them separate because I don't want them to I don't want her to get my other dog sick who's like I said she's older so it just seems like she'd be more susceptible to catching something um so now where it stands two weeks later I had to get her on more medication so she's been on six so far just in these last two weeks that I got her I have not heard back from the people that sold her to me. They have not wrote to me. I can't get a hold of them. I think they blocked me at this point. Um, I wonder where her brothers and sisters are and how they are. Um, it's been really, really, really tough two weeks for me. I've never had a puppy before. All the dogs that I've had in my life, I've gotten them when they were like a year plus. So I've never had a puppy. So I didn't expect them to be so energetic and so expensive just even without the medical bills and stuff. So then on top of that, I also have a sick puppy and a puppy that I have to keep away from my other animals and a puppy that's going to the doctor at random times and taking all these medications. So it's been really, really difficult for me. But I guess the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to let you guys know that people will lie to you out there about the health of your dogs, of the dogs that they're selling. And, you know, it was always against against my beliefs to buy a puppy from someone. I've always wanted to get them from the pound and stuff, but that's not to say that the ones at the pound wouldn't be sick either, because when I was a kid, I got a puppy and I brought her home and she had a severe case of mange. So, I mean, it's you can get a sick puppy anywhere, but what I'm saying is that these people shouldn't have lied to me. They kept her outside, obviously. They gave her dirty water. She was. They didn't care that she had huge cuts on her back. And I just think, I don't know, it's really sad, and I just want to kind of warn people <laughs> out there um, so you guys won't be as naive as I was, I guess. But I just felt like I could trust these people, and I, I couldn't because they obviously 
this two month old little tiny bean of a creature was in terrible condition with tons of sicknesses and she was so i'll insert a clip when i first got her the first day look at how her eyes look she just looks like so sad and lethargic and just sick and then they try to cover up the cuts by putting this disgusting dirty dress on her and they thought they wouldn't hide the cuts from me but it's fine because now she's doing a lot better and I'm very 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 happy because now she's even more hyper <laughs> which is very difficult to take care of a hyper puppy but she's a lot more hyper now I've spoke to the vet and they said that she is not contagious um, she stopped bleeding and she no longer has worms, she no longer has fleas, she no longer has ticks, she's no longer anemic and no longer dehydrated. So everything is doing really well. I go to the vet tomorrow to get another uh, fecal sample to see if the parasite is gone. I believe it is because now she's using the restroom regular and she just looks way better. The cuts on her back have also cleared in these last two weeks and she's just a really really happy healthy puppy she eats really well she sleeps well she, everything she does everything really good and she's such a good girl and she's so smart and i just think like all she needed was a little you know like a little love and a little care and yeah it's not cool to have all these vet bills but she's totally worth it and i think it's gonna be really nice to know later that i saved my little movie from being so sick and yeah i just i just wanted to share that story movie girl there she is come on i'll share it to you guys right now i just wanted to share this story with you guys because i thought it would be kind of interesting to know like what we went through and just you know like a warning just be careful when you get puppies or dogs or pets and um also that it's totally worth it in the end, I'm happy that I saved her, and I have the most healthy little girl ever now. Well, hopefully, I go to the vet tomorrow, so hopefully. She's also going to get her second round of puppy shots tomorrow. So, yeah. So far, so good. But it was a really, 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 really rough start. I'm telling you. The first day I brought her home, I was like, what an introduction to a puppy. I bring her home, and she's just going once every hour, just like huge puddles. And I'm just like cleaning it nonstop. Then on no sleep, I go to the vet and they tell me that she has all these things. It was just like so horrible. But I'm glad I passed that horrible phase stage in little movie's life. And now hopefully she'll be happy and healthy forever. And she's going to be a part of my videos a lot. She's going to go um, movie hunting with me. So will be like shopping with movie for movies or something. I don't know. But let me show it to you. Hold on. Movie girl. Movie girl. She already knows her name. She's so smart. <laughs> so this is my movie girl. Like I said, she's a terrier chihuahua mix. She was really, really tiny when I first got her. Um, every time people see her, they're like, oh, she's so small. What kind of dog she is she? And she, the camera makes her look a lot bigger, but she's really small. Her harness is extra, extra, extra small. So she's really tiny, but now she has a little stomach because she eats really well. And see the cuts that were on her back were right here and they're gone. She had tons of fleas and ticks. Look at that little stomach. She had worms. She was in really bad condition, but now movie is living her best life. So yeah guys, I just wanted to share that story with you. And um, yeah, I hope that my little movie is now healthy forever and ever. So as always, just please remember to like this video if you like this video. And movie and I will see you next time. Right, Move? Say bye to them, Move. Movie. Movie girl. Oh yeah.